Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. I apologize for the slightly raspy voice. I am doing this voiceover very early in the morning because I want to share this video with you as fast as possible. This is a brand new stamp set called Happy Meow Thursday that I designed for Simus' Stamps latest release. And I have never been more excited for a stamp set. This is the cat stamp set that as a cat lover and cat mom, I have wanted forever. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how I create four different cards using this stamp set. And these are the four cards that I sort of designed in my head and as examples, when I actually uh, proposed this stamp set to Heidi over at Simon Says Stamp, um, I actually created these stamps with the images as I designed the stamp set. So these are the four original cards that I designed with these images. The whole idea behind this stamp set is um, these cards are from the cat for Mother's Day and Father's Day and just thank you in general. Um, I know so many people who are pet lovers and pet parents and for Mother's and Father's Day, they don't, they don't get a lot of love. So while I created these cards, I, I colored them to look like my cats because of course I did. Um, but I think it would have been so fun. And I thought about this halfway through and I wish I would have done it to color the cats like my friend's cats and then send the cards to them. I think that would be so fun. And that's probably more likely what you would do with these stamps. Um, you would either uh, make the card for a significant other who also takes care of the cats or maybe for friends who have cats or just anyone who loves cats in general. Anyway, catching up to what I've done here on these cards, I'm actually using some 80 pound cardstock today. This is Nina Classic Crest Solar White. And I, I'm using 80 pound instead of my usual 110 pound purely because I grabbed the wrong cardstock and I'd started scoring it and I thought, you know what, not worth changing course and going to find that other card stock. I'm just going to go with it. I'll use the 80 pound. And you know what? It worked out great because these are uh, single layer cards. They're going to go in the mail. Great. Um, or just in an envelope. You can stuff it with some gift cards or goodies or whatever you want. But anyway, so for this particular card, I wanted to use this longer greeting that's on the stamp set, which I love so much. Um, I think I'm going to save this card and give it to my husband for Father's Day because it is completely him. Uh, he has taken over feeding the cats in the evening most nights and they love it. And he has bonded with them so well. He loves the cats. The cats love him. I kind of think they prefer him over me sometimes. It's kind of funny. Anyway, so I stamped all these uh, images in VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I'm gonna be using some colored pencils to color all the images in. I'm doing a very slight modification on this image here with a 0.8 Copic Multiliner. I'm just extending the line on that image of the little cat peeking around a corner. I'm just extending it so that it can uh, go from top to bottom on the card. I did that specifically on the stamp set because I knew you could move the cat higher on the card or lower on the card and um, you could just extend the line yourself. So after I folded all the card bases and used a bone folder to make them really flat, I then moved on to all of the uh, colored pencil coloring. And today I'm using some polychromos colored pencils from Faber Castell. Um, I'm only going to be using a very limited color palette today because I'm coloring all the cats in gray and black and with a little bit of pink on their noses and ears. And then for this first card, I'm going to add some more red shades and also a little bit of blue because I wanted to color in this little talking bubble. But I'm keeping the color palette very simple and um, minimal on these cards because I really love that black and white clean look. Now, if you wanted to have a little bit more of a layered card, you could definitely die cut these images out and put them on a card. Um, there are dies that you can buy 
separately, or if you wanted to buy the stamp and dies together as a set, you could do that. But there are dies for this set. And I think the die specifically for this image with the cat peeking around the corner, it does not cut all the way around so that you can still have it on the edge of some cardstock and kind of cut that line longer like I did extending the line of the wall. So there are some creative ways to use the die that comes for that particular image. So when it comes to coloring cats like this, I wanted to propose an idea for you guys. In my videos, I always color my cats to look like, you know, I color the cats on the cards to look like my cats. So they're always gray, silver tabby cats. But I do know there are lots of other cats out there. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a video coming up maybe in a little bit using this stamp set where I color the same image, but with different like color formations on cats, different styles of cats, different breeds. So I'm thinking I'm going to uh, make a Facebook post over at my Facebook page, which is linked down below in the video description. And I want you guys to reply to that post with images of your cats. I want to see the kind of cats that you're coloring. I want to see the cats that are in your house. So if you have a gray tabby cat, that's great, just like mine. But if you also have maybe uh, a calico cat or maybe it's a Persian cat, a blue Russian, um, you have like a, a regular American domestic short hair that, you know, maybe it's a, a little bit of everything. I want to see the kinds of cats that you guys want to color for your cards. And maybe I'll do a video showing how to color those different types of cats in a very simple way. Make it super easy. I know a lot of people struggle with black cats because it's hard to figure out how to shade it and show that it's a black cat without completely making it a black ink spot with not much shading. So I'll for sure include a black cat. But um, if you guys are excited about that idea, let me know in the comments and then I will put a post over Facebook so that you guys can uh, attach the photos of your cats. So I'm going through here, coloring all of these. Now on this last card, because it has two cats on it, I included the greeting that says from the cats. On the stamp set, there's a from the cat or from the cats. And so I did the, the multiple version for this one or the plural. And then for the images here, my two cats, one is smaller than the other and the smaller one is slightly darker. So you'll notice as I shade that I've made the pattern on her back a little bit different. She doesn't have quite as defined stripes and kind of swirl pattern on her back as the other one. But she's also a little bit darker. So I colored her a little bit darker on this cat, on this uh, image. So cute. I'm almost done here, putting a little bit of ground underneath. And that's it for all four cards. In total, it took me 45 minutes from beginning to end to uh, score and fold the cardstock, stamp all the images, color everything. These are very simple. If you keep the coloring simple on cards like this, they work up very quickly. So I think I might have to make some more of these and color them in different ways for all of my friends' cats. I have so many friends who have cats. Did you know that on average, there are more cats in the United States than dogs as pets? This Isn't that crazy? And then you go into a pet store and half of the store is for dogs. I don't understand that. And the other half is for cats, birds, gerbils, fish, like everything under the sun. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, just a reminder that I'll be back on Friday with a live stream at my usual time at noon mountain time. So please join me for that. Um, it's actually just tomorrow. So come back and join me. I'll be using some other products from Simon's latest release. These are products that I've designed. So come back and see what I create. See you then.